Hello, all you beautiful people. Hi, what's up? How the heck are you doing? I hope you're doing swell. So, sorry for the audio. My mic is on, but I do have a really big heater going because I'm in the shop right now. So I'm sorry if the audio isn't ideal, but I have a very exciting project I'm starting and I want to bring you along. If you did not know, I've mentioned it a couple places, but I, I bought a trailer. <laughs> I bought a whole ass enclosed trailer because I wanted to take my business, Heifer Please Co, on the road. I wanted to be able to combine my business that's growing that I love and meeting all of you lovely people. So we're gonna go on the road this summer a little bit so that we can meet some of y'all and hang out. And I thought, you know, I have done the whole set up, tear down, and it's just very strenuous. It's a lot of work. And I thought about the benefits of having a nice enclosed trailer. So we are gonna turn this average looking run of the mill trailer into a mobile shop which is done before like i'm not doing anything crazy a lot of people especially in my area uh, at uh, local fairs and stuff they have turned trailers into boutiques but mine isn't a boutique it's have a police co and i'm super freaking excited so let's get over here i have these two little ikea cubicle guys i do highly recommend these if you ever need some quick cheap storage because these are built really well like they hold their own but i don't want to do white because i have white wallpaper that i'm gonna have in the uh, trailer so I'm gonna paint these a really cute blush pink don't mind this chaos my dad's been doing a lot in his shop but then I have I was thinking about putting this together and putting there putting this in the trailer after I put it together and then also I have two of these little guys I have some lovely laminate flooring and then there's the wallpaper so it's gonna be freaking cute okay so I kind of have done a lot to the trailer <laughs> and didn't do a lot of adequate check-ins. But to be fair, it's because we did a lot in a very short amount of time. <laughs> so here's what we're working with now. If you didn't know, really quick, catch up. I am turning this trailer into a complete little mobile shop so that I can take my apparel and all of the merchandise that I have on the road and do meetups and sell merch at the same time. You feel me? Okay, cool. Don't mind my dad's toys back there. He allows me to use his shop. So. All the things that we have done. We finished the flooring, which looks super nice. I love it. It was just a real quick laminate. Me and my dad were able to put, like put it down ourselves, so it wasn't too difficult. And then I knew I wanted to do something to cover the walls, but I was limited because of the fact that it's like plywall. So I found this wallpaper. I really like it, but I will never hang wallpaper on plywall again, just as a real quick thing. Thank God my friend Gretchen came and helped me because if not, I would have had eight meltdowns. I shit you not, it's so complicated and they didn't line up perfectly and like it's really hard to stick to plywall. It's, I have to put staple guns in it too. Like it was just a lot. It was a lot, it was a lot of stress. <laughs> so then I took these two Kallax um, four little cube things from Ikea, which like can't recommend those enough not sponsored obviously But these things are the best thing since sliced bread. They're very sturdy and well made and they're just you just use them for everything I swear to god my next house is just gonna be all those I literally have like eight of them in my office <laughs> But my dad helped me bolt these to the ground so that they stay. We also did a light trim to cover my mistakes from the wallpaper, um, but we couldn't find any black screws. So I'm probably gonna go over those with uh, white nail polish because material girl. <laughs> and then this little guy I found at um, Target and I thought it would be perfect as a way to display more storage and then also have a hangy guy. Like it's made for like a closet insert, but I just thought it would be a good thing. And then I have one of these guys that my dad also bolted. So it ain't going nowhere for travel. And I have another one that I have to build and I'm probably just gonna put it right next to it because it's just got some nice little drawer storage. So I thought that was cool. But yeah, this is these two. The wallpaper don't look too close you'll see the mistakes this wall is getting that like cool little instagrammy um greenery type shit because i, I want to do that hole as like an accent wall like this whole little corner piece and then i'm gonna try to get a neon sign that has like heifer please co you know thought that'd be cool and then we are gonna do a built-in because this like awkward corner, I wanted to make it like a little storage bin slash like couch seat thing so that there's seating in here that's built in. And then I'm also adding a counter for right here, which is already built. I just have to sand it and paint it. So let me go show you this because my dad helped me put this. Well, my dad put most of this together. I just had the vision. So this is my counter. I have it 
Um, as you can see, it's just, we literally use scrap wood that my dad had left over because if you didn't know, lumber is expensive as hell. <laughs> so he put this together with my vision last night really quick with the scrap wood. So it's pretty simple, pretty basic. I just wanted a nice built-in counter, tall enough for me. And then I think the only thing that we might add is some, sh like maybe a shelf or two on the inside because this is where I'll be standing. So I could have like bags for people to get their stuff and all that jazz. So... I'm going to be sanding this bad boy, and then I'm also gonna paint it. I can show you the paint color. I thought, since I have a lot of neutrals, it would be fun to have a pop of color with the blush pink, and then I have this like, um, it's called vintage teal, and I just thought it was really pretty, so I thought it'd be a nice pop of color. So I'm gonna spray paint it, because I hate brush painting with a passion. So I would rather go through more bottles of spray paint, and, deal with it that way which like maybe isn't the smartest maybe it's not actually better but i can't i don't have patience like that's why i was so glad that gretchen came and helped me with the wallpaper because like i would have lost all of my mind it would have gone so i'll check back in with you when i have this painted and when we get the green wall to hang up but it's coming together i also have little twinkly lights because i'm a little basic bitch to hang like along the edges they have lights in there but i think it's only hooked up when my trailer's on so i have to figure out that but other than that like hooked up to my truck is what i meant so yeah i'm real excited it's coming together it looks more like a trailer little boutique shop and less like just a storage trailer so yeah <clears throat> Okay, got a lot of things accomplished that I needed to. So I hung the little lights. Look how cute. I look like an idiot in the finally just being like, look, but they're so cute. I like that they're little dainty, but very cute. I love them. And then I also went ahead and painted, I sanded and painted my counter. I actually love the color it turned out and I like the little bit of rustic vibe it gives with the wood, with the texture. I do plan on having Lauren Denny from Simply Stain Shop. I love them. They, uh, She's going to be hopefully making me a nice sign for the front. I'd like a big one with my logo. I thought that that would be really sharp, but that'll just go in there. I can show you where. The counter will be right there outside the wall because like I said, I have a built-in that I want to put there in the corner of the nose of the trailer, have that greenery with hopefully a neon sign eventually. And then the flow of the trailer will be, people can come in from the ramp and they can check it out, this, that, and the other. And then as long as they don't have any issues with stepping down, this will be the exit. So it'll make sense of the flow to have the counter right here. That way they can check out and everything. And then peace out but i freaking love this thing i think it's so stinking cute and i am obsessed and i can't wait to fill it with all my stuff and go to these things to be able to sell to you guys okay so it's another day my trailer is not completely finished but i figured i wanted to do like i wanted to go ahead and let you guys see it just because it has been so long and since i have talked about my trailer and a lot has been accomplished the last touches are going to be little cosmetic things and i'm not going to fill my trailer until it's very close to the actual event because i do sell the stuff online so like if i move it to my trailer then i would just be running to my trailer every time and that would just be a cluster but i'm not launching tumblers until the meetup on april 9th so those can stay in here where i have them but look how cute i'm so excited okay so when you walk in this will be the entrance and so i have the tumblers right there and then i'm gonna hang shirts on the little hanger and then those drawers are gonna be where i can have shirts over here i have some shelving and maybe i need to go to like hobby lobby home goods and tj maxx to find some things to hang because i just storage 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 is going to kind of be the main you know thing but i got the lights we've got the trim the wallpaper and the flooring and then i got my counter i'm so excited um like i've said the i'm just waiting on the freaking greenery to come in but that wall is gonna be like that greenery vine basic bitch stuff 
and then I have the neon sign actually shipped today and so it'll say Heifer Please Co and then Lauren at Simply Stain Shop is making me my logo sign for my counter and then me and my dad are going to do a custom built-in right here just because it's awkward space and I know that I want people to flow in and out of the trailer out the door so I'm just going to make like a little sofa seat so that when people are like if it's me or a friend running the counter there's a seat to sit back there and then I can lift it up and have storage but yeah like this is the this is the trailer as of right now and I freaking love it I'm so incredibly happy with it and I am very impressed with my father and I's skills because it looks really good like I'm really really excited for this journey because I never imagined this being a possibility um but i'll give you a closer look at these tumblers because they are super cute so we have pink we have this teal and light blue we have white and then we have black um but those will be debuting at the meetup and then i will put them on my store and then obviously they will still be whenever i travel they will go with me but yeah that is the whole trailer as of right now the rest of the stuff is going to be cosmetic but i'm so excited i will obviously do a video maybe when it's fully done that way it can be like a tour of the whole thing but we're getting close like this thing is almost at the level where i can you know pack up and go to the meetup. So we're two weeks away and I feel very confident with how far we are so far. But that wraps up this trailer video. So if you like it, please give me a thumbs up and go ahead and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. Obviously this is a little bit different, but this was definitely something that I wanted to document because it's freaking dope. Like I'm so happy. I cannot believe that just a few months ago, this thing was completely empty and plywood everywhere. And now it looks like a whole ass shop. How cool is that? I'm so excited. So freaking excited. I can't wait to see all the places we go with the trailer with Heifer Please Go, but I'm gonna get off here. So I hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your day and I'll see you in the next one.